going. <clears throat> the topic tonight is um, situations where you're planning to bid a slam and you've got to decide whether to bid six of a suit or try six no trump. And also we'll look at when to bid a grand slam. So this topic, uh, I, I'm sometimes asked, oh, I, you know, my partner and I, we bid a slam, we bid six spades, but we didn't get a good result because other people bid and made six no trump. And it's a not quite, not a really straightforward topic, but there are some uh, helpful guidelines you can follow as to whether you want to be in six of a suit or six no trump. And we're going to look at some of those this evening. So uh, do interrupt me if you have some questions, but let's start off with this hand here where you are south and you've opened one spade. You've got 19 points and your partner raises you to three spade. Now that three spade bid should be something like 10 to 12 points. And the other way of evaluating your hand is in terms of losers using the losing trick count. If you don't already do this, I do recommend you you do that because it's a very often a very reliable way of evaluating your hand. So the three spade bid should be a hand that's a little better, for example, than a two spade bid. So that should be a hand, the north hand should have eight losers in it. And you can look at how many losers you appear to have in your hand. And that is one, two, three, four losers using the losing trick count. So that comes to 12 losers. And if you take that from 18, that would suggest you should be able to make a uh, bid at the six level here. Well, before we do that, we're going to use Blackwood to check we're not missing two aces. And if we bid four no trump, my partner responds five diamonds. That's one ace. And even though we're missing an ace, it's either the ace of hearts or the ace of clubs. It's hopefully just one trick. And so we're going to bid six spades. And if we bring up the uh, the four hands, I don't even need to play this out, I think, because um, you can see that six spades is a good contract. West will lead uh, the ace of clubs, presumably, and then another club, which we will rough. And then after that, I think we're going to make all the tricks. We're going, not going to lose any spades. We're not going to lose any hearts. And we've got the ace, king, queen of diamonds. So this is a, a perfect hand for being in six spades. And obviously it would be a very bad mistake to be in six no trump on this hand, because especially when you're missing an ace, if that ace in particular is the ace of clubs, then six no trump would be a dreadful contract. The opponents would uh, cash a lot of club tricks before you could do anything about it. So obviously with shortages like this and missing an ace, you want to be in six of your suit and you wouldn't even think about being in six no trump there. Um, let's look at the same hand, but with a slightly different response from North. This time you open one spade. Uh, again, North bids three spades. You bid four no trump. And then in response to the four no trump, your partner bids five hearts. Now, how many aces does that show? That should be showing two aces. So you've actually got all the aces here. Um, however, I don't really feel confident that it's right to be in no trump here either, uh, because although we've got the ace of clubs, that might be our only stopper in that suit, and we could well be in trouble in uh, in playing in no trump here. So I think I still want to play this in spades, and given that I'm not missing any aces, I think I should bid six spades here. It would be a mistake to go on, even though you've got all the um, aces uh, to look, a, look into a, a grand slam here, because if you think about it, your partner's three spades should be an eight loser hand or 10 to 12 points. So it's very unlikely you've got he's got the right hand to be able to make seven. So you should probably settle for six spades here again. Um, let's have a look at how that one would go. So. Let's try and make a plan in six spades on this one. You can see your partner does have 10 points there. 
and two aces. So where are we in danger of losing tricks? Hopefully we won't lose any spades. Hopefully we won't lose any hearts. Uh, we're not going to lose any clubs because we've got the ace there. But in diamonds, we are missing the king and the jack. So we're likely to lose one trick there. The way we're going to play the diamonds is um, do a double finesse. So we'll, we, we hope that we don't lose to both the king and the jack. We hope we only lose to one of those. Um, and you'll see in a moment how we're going to do that. So in six spades, this is how we'd play this hand. We'll win that one. Let's start by drawing trumps. And trumps fall in two rounds here. And you could cash your hearts now, but let's suppose you turn your attention to diamonds. What we're going to do is lead a diamond towards our honors in my hand. And what we're going, hoping is that West doesn't have the king and the jack. If, if As long as they've only got one of those honors, we'll do a finesse and repeat the finesse if necessary, and we'll only lose uh, one trick. So here we're going to, the right, way to play this is to play the nine here and on this occasion it loses to the king but that's good news because now we're only going to lose that one diamond and we won't um uh lose any more uh we won't lose any more tricks after that we've got the ace queen of diamonds if i bring up the four hands here you can see whatever um the defense play now will be able to rough and uh, so if they play another club, let's say, we'll be able to rough that and then we'll cash our spades and our hearts and our diamonds. And we'll make our 12 tricks here. That would not be the case if we were playing in six no trump. So if we were playing in six no trump and we played this way, uh, once we've lost a diamond here, West will be able to cash a number of clubs. So again, you really want to stay out of six no trump on a hand like this. You're probably much safer in in six spades. Do interrupt me if you have any questions about this. Give you a moment. Um, let's try another hand here. This time your partner's opened um, three hearts, which is a preemptive bid, should be showing a reasonable seven card heart suit. And you've got a great fit for your partner. Maybe you're thinking about the possibilities of a, a slam here. Let's suppose we start off with four no trump and my partner bids five diamonds. That shows one ace. Okay, one ace they've got. And we know, know what ace it is. It's the ace of hearts. And what I'd like you to tell me is what you think South should bid now. And I'm going to launch a poll in a moment and see if you can tell me what you think the correct bid from South is. So take a moment to think about this before I launch the poll. And share the results with you. And the majority have gone for six hearts, 52%, with a small number we're going for uh, five no trump, six no trump, seven hearts and seven no trump. So let's switch back to that and uh, see what we think. Well, your partner should have a seven card heart suit and you've got four hearts. So that means that you have an 11 card trumpet. Your partner's got the ace and you've got the king. So all your hearts are good. You should have seven heart tricks. And in addition to seven hearts, you've got one spade one diamond and four clubs so that's seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so i think the correct bid here is seven no trump okay and uh only if your partner has missed bid will that be a mistake um in seven no trump your partner may well have something like this but as long as they've got a seven card suit including the ace which is what they've said then you can count 13 tricks and this is an example of a hand where based on your partner's bidding and based on what you have i think you can count 13 top tricks and uh, tony, i recommend I, you yes uh, tony i would be hesitant with the uh, 
ace of diamond and six of diamond. The king is missing. So uh, uh, there is every chance that person could make the king of diamonds. Yeah. And you're you're also jack missing the king and queen and jack of spades. Okay. But uh, do you agree with my counting? <laughs> I know you, we have you've all got one the... spade, seven hearts, yeah. one diamond, and four clubs. So it doesn't matter about the missing kings um, and other cards in the spades and the diamonds. You are pretty confident, unless your partner has missed bid, which of course could never happen, um, that that three heart bid is showing a seven card suit. And once they've shown that they have the ace, you really know that got the ace sorry Seven. how would you know he's got the ace um, for no trump and he, he responded five diamonds oh yeah yeah sure of course yeah that's true okay so, so it, they, you have to take it yeah i mean it it doesn't matter about the the kings and things you're missing if you can count 13 tricks um, then I suggest you bid seven no Trump. And this, I think, is an ideal hand for it. OK. Uh, yeah. you'll, you'll have no no problem making 13 tricks here. You'll just win the first trick, and then you can start on hearts, um, take your hearts. Now all your hearts are good, and if you want to play it out, you can play it out, play out your hearts, throw off your losers as you do that. And once you get to this point here, then I think you should definitely claim because anyone will see that you've got the remaining tricks there. OK, so well done, those of you who said um, seven, no Trump. Um, so obviously, the second best answer was um, uh, seven hearts. I mean, you, you could bid five, no Trump, I suppose, to ask for kings. But really, you don't care about um how many kings your partner has and even if they have no kings here you should still bid seven no trump so i think that's a very good guideline to bid seven no trump if you can pretty much count 13 tricks okay um Tony, yeah is there a, ever a circumstance when it would be better to bid seven hearts rather than seven no trump not really. I mean, if you're going to make um, if you're going to make 13 tricks, then you should be in seven no trump. OK, oh, I mean, only if you can. I mean, if you can't make 13 tricks in no trump, but could make 13 tricks in hearts. And obviously that would be true. But if you can count 13 top tricks, um, then I, it's really that's really the ideal time to bid um, seven no trump. Tony, yep. I, th I think the, the point of the question was, if you can make seven hearts, can you always make seven no trumps? And well, the answer no, is no. No, of course not. No, that's that's yeah. right. Yeah. And so because you, might, you might be counting on a void you have. Exactly. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I mean, sometimes you'll make extra tricks by roughing, um, but that's not the case here. Um, here we're not, we don't need to do any roughing and we should be fine in seven no trumps. Tony, what would you do if partner didn't have that ace? Well, um, then I think I assume we're going to lose a trick. <laughs> um, if if they've as long as they've got a reasonable heart holding, including the queen of hearts, then I think we'd be okay. But we want to be in six hearts. Then I think. Uh, I disagree with that, Tony. Tell me that. Tell me why. Uh, well, if they lead a spade out first, you win with the ace. You lead out a you lead out a heart. They take that with the ace. They can play, claim another two spades. Uh, well, you've got you've got you've got a singleton there, as it happened, right? Yeah. Oh, you own the spades. Yeah, you go the diamonds then. Yeah. Yeah. Diamonds. Oh, oh if, if they play diamonds, you mean? They play diamonds. Yeah, if they play the diamonds. Then, then, then you would uh, you would lose the. Um, you 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 would okay. you would lose you would lose one diamond and one heart. Right, right. Okay, that that's true. Yes. Okay. So yeah, I think you're right there. Yeah. So depending on what they lead, you might be in trouble if you're missing that um, that ace and they they find the right lead. 
Okay. Um, let's have a look at another one here. Um, here you opened two clubs. Now you've got one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. You've got twenty-two points here, um, but it's definitely worth a two-club opener because you really want to be in game on this hand. So your partner makes a positive response. That's two no trump. You bid three spades, and they bid four spades. So let's suppose we then use Blackwood and bid four no trump, and my partner responds five hearts. Um, that shows two aces, which is the uh, ace of spades and the ace of diamonds. So things are looking very good here. We might make a further inquiry to see if my partner's got any kings. Uh, let's suppose we bid five no trump and my partner replies five clubs, so they've got no kings, but they've got two aces. So let's have a little count of our tricks here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six spades, we presume. Uh, well, we've got one heart. We're missing the king of hearts because they don't have any kings, but they've got the ace of diamonds. So we've got the ace king of diamonds and we've got three clubs. So this hand, I can pretty much count 12 tricks. Yeah. OK, so uh, I, I, I've got one. The king of hearts is missing, yeah. but I have uh, a great chance to make 12 tricks here. And you could bid um, six spades on this hand, or maybe you should think about six no trump. The, the question you need to ask yourself is, could six spades make more tricks than six no trump? It looks like six no trump is um, probably going to make uh, 12 tricks, or it might make 13 if my partner had the right card. If, for example, they had the queen of diamonds, if, they had, if we had the ace, queen, and another diamond, we that might be an extra trick there. We can't really find out about the queen of diamonds. There's no real way of knowing about that. Um, so we'll probably settle for the sixth level, and probably it's going to make the same number of tricks in no trump as it would in spade. So this is a hand where rather than bidding six spades, you might consider bidding six no trump, uh, and expecting it to make as many tricks as six spades would. The only time it would make tricks in, more tricks in spades than in no trump, might be, if, for example, if North had perhaps a singleton heart, so you could rough one there. But um, it's actually gonna be played in no trump by your, by your partner, and, I think you can see if you look at the hands together, your partner's got the two aces, but no king, that you will probably just make 12 tricks. If I click on the GIB link, it will tell me that I can just make uh, six tricks. Even when they lead a heart, which is my weak suit, I can uh, win that one and then I'll just uh, cash my uh, spades. So I'll start off by cashing all my spades perhaps. And I can cash my clubs. But at the end, I've got, I'm going to play the diamonds. Um, and I, I probably don't want to risk any finesse here. So I'll probably just play a diamond. On this occasion, West actually discards. So I know I've got to play my ace and I'll make my 12 tricks. The same 12 tricks as I would have made in six spades. So there are some hands where it, it seems like there's not going to be any tricks made by roughing. And you may as well try and get a top score by making the same number of tricks in six no trump as other people are making in six spades. Any comments on that? I've got um, a poll for you coming up now. And... I want you to look at the south hand here and your partner has opened two no trump and i'd like you to think about what you think south should bid with this hand so i'll give you a little while to think about it it's not easy two no trump is a balanced hand with 20 to 22 points 
I think you've got 13 points. Have a think about what your response is. And here comes the second poll, second and final poll of the evening. Some of these responses, you might have to scroll down to see them. Sir? And we've got some interesting uh, responses there. Um, so most of you have gone for four no Trump. Some bid six, no Trump. And then there are a few other responses, three clubs, four clubs, or uh, seven, no Trump. So let's go back to it. It's um, not easy, this one, but you have 13 points and your partner's got 20. So you know you have at least 33 points, which should be enough for a slam, a small slam, um, at least. Um, the thing is, uh, it's quite hard to uh, to bid this. Um, three clubs by South is Stamen, which isn't really what you want to bid. Um, you might be thinking about asking for aces here, but to ask for aces you um, using Blackwood, you first of all would have to bid a suit. And you can't actually bid your club suit at a suitable level. Three clubs, as I said, would be Stamen. Four clubs would be Gerber. Um, so it's slightly awkward to bid here. And with, um, but with 13 points and a good source of tricks, maybe the best choice is just to go to six no Trump. Yeah. Um, interestingly, no one chose to bid six clubs here. And I think that's a good choice. Uh, you're, you're obviously a little bit worried about the heart suit here, but don't forget your partner's going to be declarer and will uh will be uh the lead will come into them so even if, even if they lead a heart um your your partner's hearts hopefully are, are protected so let's have a look at the two hands together this is how they might be uh laid out and and i hope you can see that six no trump looks like a good contract here um you're going to make all those clubs you're going to make three spades um and you've got two top tricks in heart. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. You've got 11 top tricks. And obviously you can make your 12th trick by playing on diamonds. And that's probably the best thing to do here. Um, you can cash your clubs first if you like, um, but at some point probably you'll want to play the diamonds. You're, you're missing the ace of diamonds. so. They'll they'll get in, um, but you'll have the rest, and you should be able to make six no trump here. Um, so can I ask something? Yeah. If, if you and your partner are not playing Gerbers, because not everybody plays Gerbers, then what should I bid? Suppose my my partner doesn't bid Gerber. We don't play Gerber. Okay. Well, what would what would four no trump mean? No, poor no Trump is. I will say if I, I'm I'm ready to go on a on a on a game. If you have um a, more than 33, 34, 35 points, go on a six no Trump. Otherwise, we will play in a poor no Trump. Right. So those those of you who bid four no Trump, maybe you were thinking. I don't know whether you think that would be Blackwood or whether that would be invitational. Four no Trump in response to two no Trump should be invitational. Yes. And I think the South End is too good for that. You not only have 13 points, but you have a very good source of tricks in clubs. So uh, if you bid four no Trump, your partner, I think they're actually, uh, if we go back, your partner is actually, I think, a minimum hand. And they will stop there. And th they may pass it. So I think six no Trump is probably the best okay. bet there. And I, I don't think I'd want to bid six clubs, even though I've got no, two clubs. I'm probably going to make six no trump here. I've got 33 points. Um, the only other bid I, I thought some people might, well, some people did choose, is to bid four clubs, mm. which is actually um, Gerber. And if you bid four clubs and your partner responds to show two aces, that response is four spades. And then again, you might bid, uh, just go straight to six, no Trump again. 
Okay. Tony, I was worried about the heart, so I thought that Stamen would at least tell me whether partner's got some cover in hearts. Okay. So you're going to bid three clubs, and then when your partner bids three hearts... Then I'd go to the no trump. Then go to six no trump, maybe. Yeah. yeah. But I, what, what I have no idea had three... my partner's got strong hearts. Yeah. What if they only, got, what if they only had three hearts? <laughs> well, then I'd fiddle around with the clubs, I think. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think there's a good case for just bidding six no Trump here because, um, you know, your, your partner is going to be declarer and, uh, you know, very likely that they've got a stopper in hearts and you're going to make a make at least 12 tricks here. Anyway, that that was a, a case of sort of not bidding six clubs, but going for six no Trump, which will probably do much better. Mm -hmm. Um, now, there are hands where you, um, you know, this is a slightly difficult topic because there are hands where it's not always clear cut whether you want to be in no Trump or you want to be in a suit contract. Let's look at this one where your partner has opened two no Trump and you've got 13 points again. So you may well be thinking we've got enough for um, a slam here. It might be a good idea, though, to start off with Stamen here to see if we've got an eight card fit in either major. So if you do that on this hand and your partner bids three spades, then with enough points for a, a slam and a fit in spades, maybe you should just bid six spades there. Uh, I mean, the, you don't really need to ask about aces because you've got 33 points, so you sh shouldn't be missing two aces and six spades on this layout ends up being quite a good contract if you have a look at this from your partner's point of view you can see that your partner's got no spade losers there are no heart losers there's a club loser and there's a, a diamond loser but the diamond loser can be roughed in dummy so this hand is probably better played in six spades than it would be in six no trump. And the, the reason is really that, that that doubleton diamond is what makes the difference here. It gives you an extra trick if you play it in spades and you're able to rough a diamond that you wouldn't make in six no trump. If you count your tricks in six no trump, you can see you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And it may be a struggle to find the the 12th trick there. So it's definitely not always the case that you, you want to play it in six no trump rather than six of a suit. And, and this is one example of that. But if if the north hand had been completely flat with you know not even a doubleton there, no roughing values, then maybe you'd be better off in, in six no trump than in um, uh, six spades. Okay, so here, I think we're going to make uh, six spades without too much difficulty. We'll win the first trick. We'll draw trumps, which fall in three rounds. And then we'll just play a diamond and rough a diamond. And now we'll hopefully uh, make all the rest of tricks except for a club. We might even make an over trick here if the hearts um, play well. But if they don't, as they do here, then you you'll end up with a uh, a possible heart loser or a club loser at the end. But uh, you'll make your two clubs for twelve tricks and lose that last one. But that would do better than six no trump on this hand um, because of the the shortage you have in diamonds. It just I, I could easily have made up a hand where it makes six no trump, and it's not always possible to tell if um, you know. You, whether you should be in six no trump or, or six of a uh, six of a suit, but um, I just thought I'd like to sort of summarize with a few uh, points about this. If you are going to bid a slam, if it seems that there are twelve likely tricks that you can count, it's probably better to bid six no trump rather than six of a suit. But stick to six of a suit if it seems that an extra trick might be made by roughing. So if there's you know, shortages, 
in uh, in your hand, then you you may well make an extra trick by roughing. Um, and I would say that you should really only think about bidding a grand slam if you can count thirteen um, likely tricks. So if you based on the bidding and based on your own hand, don't bid a grand slam unless you're pretty sure you can see thirteen tricks. Um, I know Andrew Robson in his um, uh, talks he sometimes says uh, you should never bid a grand slam. Well, I won't go that far, but uh, don't bid it unless you're really confident that there are 13 tricks there. Another thing um, to think about is the scoring here. So uh, if you are, if you bid and make six in a suit, that's 13, 17, a minor suit, 14, 30 in a major suit and 14, 40 in no trump. So that's why six no trump making will score better than six spades making it will score 10 points more but if you can make an over trick in a major suit then that will score better than um uh, bidding and making six no trump exactly so if there's an extra trick and you're playing in a major then that will score better that's not the case if you're thinking of playing in a minor suit so if you're in six clubs or six diamonds if you make an over trick, that's still 1390. And that's worse than, uh, for example, bidding and making exactly six no trump. So um, that was really what I wanted to cover. I also wanted to just mention that this business of being in six no trump rather than six of a suit really only applies in pairs match point scoring as we're doing this evening. If you're in playing in imps or teams or rubber bridge, you should generally go for the safest slam contract, whatever you think that is, um, because the extra few points don't make much difference. But in a duplicate event like uh, this evening, then sometimes you'll find you bid and make six spades and, and get a not such a good score because others are, are making six no trump. OK, that was all I wanted to cover. Did anyone have any questions about any of that? Um, yes, please. Can you remind me, please, how many points you're supposed to have for a slam? Well, 33 uh, for a small slam. Yes. You're looking for um, 37 for a grand slam. But OK, thank you. You can make it up with a lot less if you have the right distribution. Yeah. Any other comments? We'll, uh, we'll end the talk there. Um, we've got the game starting at uh, 7.30 as usual, and uh, I'll just say goodbye to everyone, except if anyone needs a partner, could you raise your hand now or let me know, otherwise I'll see you later online. Yeah.